Hey there guys, it's your buddy Bulldozer Man. Before we start this episode, I did want to mention that we do have our brand new <laughs> Patreon page up, and Bulldozer Studios Plus is now in full effect. By pledging toward the Patreon, you'll gain exclusive access to vote on which videos or series come out next, see exclusive behind the scenes peeks on how these videos are made, and of course, there will be a lot more perks to come in the future, especially especially once we launch our fifth channel. The link for the Patreon will be uh, will be under the link section of the main well, well the main YouTube channel. So if you're looking for it, there it is. So make sure make sure make sure you go and check that out. But I should stress that by no means do you need. To get a membership just just viewing subscribing and for sharing the videos is is good enough this is just a way for you guys to you know financially you know support the channel so all that said on to our video is <laughs> disconnected. Quite the quit of that one. Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Fire Emblem. I am so freaking sorry that it took me this long to get back <laughs> to this project. And I know some of you assumed the worst and tried to blame two certain people for this, but just want to let you know that it's entirely not the case. So Stop throwing... You know, blame around with no context. I guess I could talk about this while the characters are talking here. Yeah, yeah, Lynn saying your your freaking your freaking level up suck. Blah blah blah. Who cares? Uh, the reason why Fire Emblem has been on the back burner for a little bit is because I had a tooth extraction last week that made my mouth swell up and made it really hard to talk. So that was obviously you know, getting in the way of the series, because this is the one series where I'm actually using my microphone. So, and speaking of my microphone, it was not set in... It was not set in... in the proper... position. <laughs> Whoops. So, well, yeah. That's what was going on there. I had a tooth extraction that was making it really hard to talk, so... That's why this series was on the back burner for a little bit, but... Finally, the swelling's gone down. My mouth seems to be back in working order, except that one problematic tooth is gone, so... So, without any further ado, let us resume Fire Emblem. And by the way, in case some of you missed that little, uh, thing at the start of the video, we do have our Patreon up, so if you want to financially support the channel, well... Well, go and <laughs> become a pledge. <laughs> it only costs <laughs> five bucks a month, so there you go. And you will get some bonus perks for signing up for it, so there you are. Oh, what's this? Whoa, a range attack from that far away? Ooh, I'd say uh, <laughs> they have a ballista. We're in for some shit in this chapter. Man, yeah. Yeah, that ballista might be a little tough to deal with. And, uh... Yeah, clearly Sane knows it too, because it's pretty much a long range of bow strikes. So Sane's warning, uh... Lorena here to not take... <laughs> not take to the sky, because... It would... Because it would <laughs> shoot her down in an instant. Yeah, you know what? If we can, uh, if we can grab hold of the ballista, we'll can actually use it. But the problem is, they only have uh, five shots, and this cutscene actually wasted a shot. So even if we manage to 
you know, <laughs> even if we manage to get a hold of the ballista, it'll probably be like <laughs> it'll probably be fresh out of ammo by oh, at the time we get there. So don't count on being able to use <laughs> ballistas in this game. There's very few instances where you can actually make use of them. And Matthew. Oh, you have some minor business to attend to and can't join us? That's not suspicious at all. Uh, well, unfortunately, Matthew is going to be sidelined for this chapter. Uh, yep, he cannot take part in this chapter. Uh, screw you, Matthew. Oh, well, if we need any of his things, we should take them now, so... Yeah, I think we have the units we'll be using here. Let's move some items around. Since he said to take his stuff, I'll probably swap the bowling areas because that one's about to run out. Let's see here. Oh, Urk has one that's about to run out too, so... Trade. Since Raph's not coming in this chapter, let's swap those around. Dorcas has two bowling areas. Does anyone need one? If not, I'll just uh, I'll, I'll give it to Lucius. I guess he can swap it over to Sing. Sing can give that one that's almost out to Lucius. Well, that's two uses left to Lucius. So I don't think I don't, I don't think we'll be needing two of all areas on the same person for this chapter. Alright. Everything looks good. Uh, Kent's got 27 use on that sword left, so hopefully it'll, so hopefully it'll last until we can fetch him a new one. Lin has 21 use on that iron sword, so do do have to be careful uh -huh, with our swords because they are starting to get a little low. And Raph, well, he's not going to be in this chapter, but his short bow's getting a little low on durability there, so we should probably find an iron bow for him eventually. Come to think of it, Will could use a new one, too. Alright. Let's have a look at the map here. There's a village here that we have to save. We got a couple of magic guys over there. We got the ballista right there. Ugh. And another archer, so... Lorena's gonna have a little bit of trouble moving around this map. We got cavaliers, swordsmen, soldiers... And these guys, who have some very unique weapons. Axe Reaver, Lance Reaver, and Sword Reaver. These are the Reaver weapons. These weapons actually reverse the weapon triangle. So, you know how swords are usually strong against axes? This axe pretty much turns that on its head. Yeah, that's pretty much the only advantage they have going for them. Their stats are pretty terrible otherwise. But these weapons throw the weapon triangle completely on its head, so... You do have to watch out for that. And then, of course, the boss has one, too, so... He's gonna be a little bit of a toughie. <laughs> and his name is Yogi. <laughs> oh, where's my picnic basket? <laughs> eh, sorry, Yogi. No <laughs> picnic baskets here. Just, just, just broadswords and axes. And luckily for us, there's an armory right there. Hopefully we can stock up on a few more weapons. We do need them. So, I guess there's going to be two major threats in this chapter. The Reaver weapons and that <laughs> Ballista. Everyone else is pretty <laughs> generic otherwise. I'm pretty sure I can send Kent in here to just freaking tear everything apart. So, yeah. The main thing this is going to come down to is keeping Florina out of range of that... Uh, out of range of that... <laughs> of that... <laughs> Ballista until we either take it out or it's out of arrows. And after that, well, we still have the archer to deal with. So once these guys are down, then then we, then we can send <laughs> Lorena in here. But until then, we do have to be careful. Because obviously, we don't want anything happening to our Pegasus Knight. So if something does happen, then that would suck. That means we have to restart the chapter. 
I don't want to do that. So. Let's go ahead and say that, because there is a very real chance we might fail this one. So. Yep. Let's get started. Anyway, as Kent said, you may want to send in someone with high defense to sort of, you know, force them to waste arrows. If you can, try to hide in the forest tiles so they'll you know, so they'll shoot you know, and hopefully miss, so. Okay. Okay, the thing does not reach there. So I think we'll have Earth going or, or grab some stuff for us. Yes, we got a bow. I'll grab two of those. One will go to Wrath later. And... Actually, yeah, I'll grab another Iron Sword, because someone's about to lose there, so... Yeah, I believe Lin's almost gone, so we'll need another one to replace it. Or... Maybe we'll go to Kent, who knows. I should have had Kent <laughs> give that door key to somebody. So we obviously don't need it here, but... Eh. Whatever, I, I doubt he's going to be picking anything up anyway. And he, if he does, I'll just uh, toss the key out. I don't think we'll need the door key from, from, from here on. So, actually, you know what? Since Florina's not going to be doing much of anything, let's have her rescue Urk. Move out of the way, and then Sane can go over here. Since I won't be needing that key anymore... Yep, just sell it off, get a little bit of extra money. <laughs> just why not? It's not like we need it now. Nilsson arranged the ballista. We should probably move him back. <laughs> if anything, I want Kent to be in range of that thing. You know, he's got a pretty solid defense. He could probably tank the hits. I think it's so insane. Definitely don't want anyone with low defensive range of that thing, so. And if they are in range, make sure that make sure make sure that they're hiding in the forest. Anyway, I think I'm gonna send Kent over here to take out these guys and save the village. He only has one res, but he should be able to soak up the hits. <laughs> yeah, I would normally send to <laughs> Lorena, but. Obviously, if I do that, that that freaking <laughs> bullet is gonna shoot her down. So we cannot do that. Up. Right. Oh. Okay, okay, Lin's in range of that thing. So hopefully, it'll target Lin. Miss. <laughs> move anyone else any further. Yeah, I'm gonna have Kent go over there and see the village and everyone else can start to start to start working their way down here using the forest tiles for cover. So let's see how that plays out. Okay, soldiers are moving up. Oh yeah, that brigand's going right for that village, so, so we gotta hustle. Yeah. Ah, damn it, Dorcas. You weren't supposed to get hit by that. Freaking hiding on the forest tile, man. Oh. Uh. Let's just go ahead and have Kent pick this guy out. Gets hit, but he should be fine. He has lots of health and defense. <laughs> and then he'll save the village. Send everyone else downwards. Well, uh, Dorcas could probably take on all these guys because he's got the weapon triangle advantage, but this guy's going to be the exception because he's got a sword. We've got a guy with a bow coming in. You know what? As much as I hate to admit it, we might have to soak up a hit or two from... Might have to soak up a... a soak up an attack or two from, from that ballista, so... Let's hold Dorcas back. Sword on. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to soak up a few hits. Probably gonna soak up a few hits on that thing, but actually, we're realistically, Lin might be in a little bit of danger, but frankly, all the targets will, because he's got the highest defense over here. <laughs> Shocking. 
And if nothing else, it'll give us a chance to heal with Sarah and get her some experience. Alright, one more experience point until she levels up. And hopefully it's a good level. Alright. Save right there. Actually, I should have had him put the... the other weapon on the lance. I want to put Nils there. He'll be in range. And Nils will definitely be in range. Will definitely be in danger of that. Thing targets him. Oh boy, we got reinforcements coming. That's not fun. People moving up. <laughs> Zero. Why even bother? Why do you even attack the guy that? He just completely body the attack. <laughs> and that guy missed, even though he had the weapon triangle advantage. <laughs> oh! 2% critical! Nice going, Sane! <laughs> Showing him who's boss. I love it. Another lucky miss! <laughs> wow! These Kalen soldiers suck! <laughs> And they can't even hit anything with the weapon triangle advantage? Wow! And, uh, <laughs> Ballista missed, because, yep, yeah, because it sucks. Oh, a damage. That's gonna, that's gonna hurt. Ouch. <laughs> oh boy, things are getting a little dangerous up here. The good news is, this guy boxed himself in, so. Pretty sure Sane can take a hip, hip from the Ballista and this guy, so... Let's have him equip the Lance so he can counterattack and heal. Yeah, next turn, this guy's definitely gone. This guy's definitely gone, because he's no choice but to attack. And when he does, Sane can't well <laughs> counterattack him. Probably <laughs> a double him and kill him, so... That should be okay. Anyway... Anyway... So Sane, take out that guy. Now he's got his lance out. So he'll be ready to face off all these guys. As a matter of fact, we can have Lin join in. Ow. Hey, I just have her sneak out and s s deal a kill. <laughs> Oh, that does I'll put a range in these guys. So, so we're gonna move some guys forward. Now we're gonna have Dorcas move in. Put his iron axe. Oh, good. So Sarah can actually rescue Nils. So I can have Nils play for Sane so he can move again. She can grab Nils out of range of the, of, you know, of the Ballista. Snatch. Now he's out of range of, now he's out, now he's out of the Ballista's range, so. Yep, Sane can move down and lock off access to Lin. Get this lance equipped. All right, it's Stain and Dorcas against these two spear users. Will can bring up the rear. All right, we got reinforcements on the way, but Sane and Dorcas should be able to take these guys on. Sane's really strong. Well, in spite of his, in spite of his terrible level ups, Dorcas has the weapon triangle advantage. So these guys don't have much of a chance against either of them. Yeah, apparently they know it because they're going for Sane. <laughs> Dying horribly. Right, who's this archer not gonna attack? Very curious. Well, first, the ballista's gonna miss. Because <laughs> the guy operating it sucks. <laughs> you suck! Alright, get a hit on get a hit on Kent, but doesn't matter, because he's gonna double and <laughs> take that guy out. Yeah. I kinda had a feeling that <laughs> Kent would be okay. 
This archer barely, barely does anything. Simply wasting time. Go, go. You know what I think of you for wasting my time? I think you should have an. Oh no, not an axe to the face because Dork is missed. Man, those force tiles really mess you up. Can I hit this guy and not kill him? Depends on whether Lin gets a critical or not. She doesn't, that's good. So now Will can swoop in and <laughs> take that archer out. And I'm gonna do so, like so. Bam! <laughs> nice shot, Will. And here's a level up. Let's see if it's a good one. Strength and resistance. Eh, not the best level up ever, but if one stat has to go up, I'm, I'm very <laughs> glad it was strength. Will needs that strength. Okay, Saint's getting a little low on health there. I don't know how many shots the Ballista has left. So I'm gonna have Sarah hide there. Someone's probably gonna get shot, but hopefully... Hopefully <laughs> they'll be alright. I might be able to have Saint... I might be able to have Saint, you know, <laughs> charging at the list the next turn, so. Should be out of range of all these guys. Yep. Yeah, we just have the bringing co coming up. Uh, make sure Kent has a sword on. He's the. In case the brigand reaches him. Alright, this guy. Uh, yeah, there's some weapons that don't follow the normal rules. I already. <laughs> I, I already went over this random old man. <laughs> Ah. Ah, yes. So he's going to give us something. He's going to give us a Lance Reaver. That's cool. And then we'll have Kent go down there and meet that brigand head on. So we have ourselves a Lance Reaver. You'll see here, its sword rank is C, so you have to have a C level in swords. Kent can already use it, but well, you might see back there. Well, Stain has a D level swords, he can't use it, but his sword level actually increased because he used swords like so many times. That is a thing in this game when characters use a certain weapon, they gain skill with it, and when their skill's high enough, they rank up. So if Stain ranks his sword level up again, he'll he'll be able to use the Lance Reaper. Kent can actually use it right now, so that's good. And Lin can also use it right now. And it might be a good idea to give it to Lin, even though it's gonna hinder her speed a little bit, because it is because it is pretty heavy. Uh, weight at nine. It's probably gonna bring her speed down by three, but it will give her an advantage over spear users. She seems to struggle with. You know, especially since most spear users are big. Heavily armored units. Don't want to be. We don't want to be using up the Manicotti so quickly. So, the Lance Reaver might be a good idea for Lin to use if she's, you know, if she's confronted by a spear user of some description. Uh, I mean, it's a double range of ballista, right? I'll just have her move there. The drop off Urk. Ooh boy, we got a lot of soldiers down there. So this guy's gonna attack Kent. Scores a hit, unfortunate, but Kent should easily be able to take him out. Not enough for a level. Although if the if a ballista attacks him, he will level up. Yep, it went after him. He got one experience and that gets him a level. <laughs> ah, HP defense. Not a good level up, but. So that was funny. <laughs> he leveled up for being targeted by the ballista. <laughs> How often do you see that happen? Anyway, I'll go ahead and use that. And have him go back this way. He can't cross this, so he does have to bring around the rose and go back. But now, Saints in position to charge at the ballista and take it out. I'm going to have him do so. Bam! 
Nice job, Sane. Now get a good level up. Hey, that's a good level up for stats. Not bad, Sane. Slowly <laughs> redeeming yourself for that dumpster fire you had before. <laughs> anyway, now that the blist is down, Lorena can start to move in. Yeah, that ballista can't be a big threat, but it's honestly not that bad if you know if you know what you're doing and have a plan to counter it. So everyone here can move forward. I'm gonna have Nils play for Lin. He needs he needs a, like <laughs> the, the experience. Grab more experience for him. And then Urk can move down and. All right, he still has the bows. So I still have to give one to Will. Lynn can move a little further down. All right, we got some soldiers moving in. They're going after Sane. Uh, guy, Sane is the last guy you want to be going after. I, th I think you'd be going after Lynn or something, but no. Nope. You just want to be stupid. <laughs> Well, I don't want Sane to hog all the experience. I'm probably going to have him try and move back over to the left so, so some of our other guys can join the fray. Here's Sarah's first level. Okay. Not, not a bad level. Not a bad level up at all. Again, stabs, restore health. Both based on the staff itself combined with the magic stats. So... Sarah can heal 13 HP, HP now because her magic went up, so... If one stat's going to increase for your healers, it has to be magic. Otherwise, they're not going to be healed for so much. Aw, oh, man. They freaking cut Sane off. He can't go back to the left. <laughs> so our guys here are going to have to rush out to meet these... <laughs> to meet these poor fools. <laughs> Darn. Uh, how does Flina do against them? Uh, she can actually double them <laughs> with the Iron Lance. Damn. Uh, what's the weight on that thing? Eight? On a four. That Iron Lance is slowing her down by four points. And she can double attack these guys. No wonder. Look at those stats. Like, my god. Three strength, one speed. That's all you have? I guess four strength. But, ugh. This is just terrible. Like, Ugh, be a farmer or something. Don't freaking join the military. That's all you've got. Like, strength and speed alone, a war does not win. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Just to demonstrate that point, Florina just completely dunk on this loser. Ugh. <laughs> I feel ill after looking at that. Hey, her lance, her lance level increased. Great. She's now a C in lances. So if we find a, what's it, an Axe Reaver? Uh, yeah, she'll actually, she'll actually <laughs> be able to use it. Slow her down like crazy, but it'll, but it'll give her an advantage over an Axe user. So, you know, that's one area she's, you know, so, she's kind of so, uh, so struggling in for right now. Anyway, let's have Sane completely dunk on this soldier who can't even hit him. <laughs> Actually sucks. <laughs> Stupid soldiers. <laughs> they can move up, even though she's gonna be in range. Uh, if she's the Manicani, she should be fine. Will Irk <laughs> bring up the rear? Uh, Nils, just go hide in the forest. Kento make his way back over. Right, next turn, I have to have Urk give Will a new bow. Yeah, he does need it. While Florina just completely destroys that soldier. Like, ouch. Ouch. That's all I can say. Lance to the chest twice? Whew, that's gotta hurt. Oh, Lin took 10 damage there. Ouch. <laughs> Probably heal her and move her out of range of any more surprises. Thank you. Looks like there's no more reinforcements, so... Let's have Sarah move up and heal Lin. And yeah, at some point I think I'm probably going to turn off the healing animations, because... 
it's just the same animation of the staff over and over again. Uh, actually, I don't want to do that. Or that. Missions. Actually, you know what? I'm on the subject. Uh, actually, I'll uh, turn off Nils too, because it's just the same one of him just dancing and whatnot. This is where you can... This is where you can adjust the animations for your characters. And yeah, at this point, I'm going to turn Nils and Sarah's off, because we've already seen them, uh, you know, like a thousand times. So, yep, now that animation will show again. Let's see, is there anyone else here who's injured? Uh, Sane and Florina, so... Florina, we're back. Let's have Nils play for Sarah. There we go. That will speed things up a little bit. Sarah. Yep. Do that. Get some experience. And yeah, you'll notice that's a, that's a lot faster, so that's nice. Alright, I want to be careful not to get in range of these guys. Axe Reaper. Move there in range of two of them. I do want to try and bait these guys out, so I think I might have Sango here. A good rule of thumb with the Reaper weapons. This is a lance, it's effective against axes, but there's no mention of swords here. This weapon is weak against swords, so Sane with the Iron Sword should, should easily be able to take that on. This is a sword, so they'll just break even on the weapon triangles. Sane can probably take that, so. Let's move Sane here with a sword equipped. So he can take out these guys. We'll deal with Mix Mr. Uh, a sword weaver over there later. It's an axe that's against, that's good against swords, so so a lance will so a lance will probably be ideal for taking that on. So Thorina could probably do that. Let's move everyone down. Then should be okay right there. Uh, yeah, I don't I, yeah, yeah. They can't reach you there, so should be good. Can't really need to hurry up. And I forgot to give Will the bow again. My God, what's wrong with me? <laughs> I'm scatterbrained today. Oh well. Zane scores a kill because that's just how awesome he is. <laughs> Although he is getting less and less experience, I'm gonna have to start spreading the experience out some more. That guy had a 3% crit chance. Ooh, that's a little scary. <laughs> I'm use someone to... Uh, use someone to eliminate that danger. And that somebody should be Dorcas. You know what? Just to have some fun. Bring the hammer down! <laughs> nice one, Dorcas. <laughs> Completely unnecessary, but totally fun. <laughs> and I think we're in range of the boss now, but boss don't move, so whatever. I can move a little closer. Nils can play. Now we can put Florina on that fortress, so she can take on the brigand. All right, lance equipped. Again, axe that's good against swords. No mention of lances. That means it's that means it's weak against lances. So Florina should easily be able to take that on. Now, finally, give Urk that damn bow. She's can't believe really forgot about that for like for your five turns. God, what's wrong with me today? <laughs> All right, Kent, come on down. Finally rejoin the group. I'll have Lin and Sane wait there. This guy's gonna move up. Only a 12% chance to hit. <laughs> and he gets doubled. Man. What a loser. There's a level 4 Florina. Speed. Florina. I believe we've talked about this before. Don't get one stat only level ups. Come on, Florina! Ugh. 
This game, man. <laughs> this game just knows how to push your buttons. <laughs> Which would be fine if pushing my buttons did risk uh, getting a knife in the belly, but that's beside the point. E everybody move forward. Then we'll go take on Yogi. Uh, Sarah, you might want to heal Kent. As uh, I'm taking some damage, so. There we go. Play for Urk. He can move again. And I'm probably going to have Urk uh, open things up with assaulting the boss. He doesn't have a ranged weapon, so it's not like he can. Not like he can do jack about it. Alright, here we go. Yes, the ballista has been taken. Somebody get that girl and my picnic basket. <laughs> oh, Yogi, you're such a clown. <laughs> Irk hits him twice. It's a nice experience. And I might have Irk take the kill here because he needs some experience. <laughs> Same heal up. Is there anyone else for Sarah to heal to get some more experience before we before we wrap up this chapter? Well, I guess Saint's the only one, so who side knows? Do that. Get Sarah some more experience. <laughs> and goodbye! <laughs> Sorry, Yogi. <laughs> Lord Lundgren, I failed you. Who are you guys? <laughs> We're Star Fox. <laughs> uh, let's just see if anyone gets that reference. Hey, good first, good first level up for Urk. Nice. <laughs> nice job, Urk. Is it over? Yes, it's over. <laughs> it's over, Lynn. Oh. These were Kaylin's soldiers. Can't hear as she trained with them. Oh. So, Lord Lundgren. Oh, dear. It looks like we're going to face some pretty tough resistance on our way to the castle. Uh, hang on a second, guys. <laughs> Alright guys, <laughs> uh, sorry about that, I had some nonsense to deal with, but here we are. Actually, Lynn, you probably, you probably would've been fine, you probably would've done like 8 damage to you at most. You, you, got, tw you got like 20 health, you, you, you would've been okay. Yeah, sounds like our Lord Lundgren's really getting serious here. We're not fighting brigands anymore, we're fighting bam. You know, we're fighting like actually trained soldiers and stuff, although although their stats suck. Matthew, where have you been all this time? Probably could have used your help back there, just saying. <laughs> Alright, the music's gonna get a little serious here, so we're gonna get some info. Ooh. Not good. Oh, someone's been poisoning him. Yeah, I think we heard. I, I think we saw that in. A, I think we saw that in a cutscene a few chapters ago. Oh, this is not good. They're afraid, and they lack proof. Yeah, I can definitely understand that one. Mm -hmm. That is ill news indeed. Oh, great. <laughs> but wait, there's more!
Oh, that's bad. That's very bad. Ah, well, a lynch resolve is certainly steeled, as is mine. <laughs> Ah, Bellywood, so I guess we get to see him again. A sound idea, of course. Because <laughs> it's Lin who <laughs> came up with it. She's arguably, you know, one of the smartest one here. Aside from, <laughs> akin to myself. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. I would go on for another chapter, but I do have a few things I have to go take care of. You know, family issues and whatnot. <sighs> yeah, it's sad, but you guys saw that post I made on the on the on the community tab. Things are going south on my end again. So, unfortunately, it is a pretty stupid situation. There isn't too much I can do about it aside from break my promise to Jessica, which I really don't want to do. So. If something happens and I go silent for a little while, then I do sincerely apologize. But sometimes that's just what happens. So assuming nothing stupid has happened, I'll see you guys for the next episode of Fire Emblem. Um, well, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Check out the Patreon and, well, I'll see you guys next time. Oh. Oh, I swear to God, if you idiots touch my last bowl of porridge, I'm gonna harm you!